Graduates, please welcome the beautiful, the talented, the legend, Jamie Lee Curtis. First thing I need to say is thank you, John Carpenter, for my life. Thank you for my entire life, John. No. I'm telling you now, without you, none of this, none of it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My darling, my pleasure. And to the esteemed faculty and students and parents and grandparents and my beautiful friends and my daughter who's here. I'm not supposed to be here. I am not supposed to be here. If you look at the paper, I'm not supposed to be here. I am the underachiever who just was awarded this incredible honor. I was not a student. I couldn't learn. The delivery system didn't work. For me, today you diagnosed me with something, but then I just didn't learn. I couldn't figure it out. And somehow I ended up into an institution of higher learning with my 840 combined SAT scores. <laughs> combined. <laughs> you add the two together. And my D plus average. Somehow I ended up in an institution of higher learning where I had no business. And I ended up, it's, again, I have no time to tell you this story. I am, for you graduates, the representation of the underachiever who has achieved. I am an artist. I can say it to you today. I could not tell you that when I was 19 years old and didn't know what I was going to do. I can tell you I became an actor by accident. Um, my parents became actors by accident. You were talking about silent film stars. My mother, Janet Lee, was discovered by Norma Shearer, a silent film star who saw my mother's photograph on my grandfather's desk at a motel in Big Bear <laughs> and said, may I have this photograph and brought it to Hollywood and they called for her. And she ended up starring opposite Van Johnson in her first movie, they changed her name to Janet Lee, and she became a legend. My father, Bernie Schwartz, from New York, was in the Navy and saw his image reflected in the semaphore, you know, the big warning lights. Please, I, I told you I didn't go to college. What are they called? The big lights, you know, where they flash the lights? Sorry? Klieg, Klieg lights. OK, excellent. Thank you. Um, <laughs> And he saw his reflection in them and said, oh, I'll be in the movies. He was in the Navy. He was on a, on a submarine tender in Tokyo Bay at the end of the war. My parents were not supposed to be actors, and yet they became them. I was not supposed to be an actor. Uh, I became an accidental actor, and here I am. I am not a cinephile. I am not an intellectual. Um, John, as we were sitting there listening to the procession, said, do you know what that sound, uh, music is from? I said, no. He said, Ben-Hur. The music you walked down to was from Ben-Hur. I didn't know that. I don't pretend to be an intellectual. I am not a cinephile. I'm a cinefan. I'm a fan of movies. I love movies. I, nobody knows this, I tried to make a Super 8 horror movie that I wrote and directed called, wait for it, um, what was it called? Hold on. Oh, no, I remember. You're going to, one of you, please go make this. I, I give you full rights right here, right now. Horror to culture. I mean, come on! I mean, come on! about a housewife who was eaten by her houseplants. <laughs> I swear I shot it. I edited it on a little 
editing machine on a Super 8. You don't have to have a degree to be an artist. You don't have to. It helps. Helps to have a knowledge, but it is not a requirement. I am the representation of an accidental artist, and yet I stand fully in my body, in my mind, in my soul as one now. And that's what you need to know. Never, ever, ever let somebody tell you you're not something. That is not their right. It is only your right to say what you are, who you are, what you think. Your mind, your own individual mind, is the most precious thing in this room. And do not, do not, as John Steinbeck said, blunt it or drug it. Let it be free, let it express itself, because when you express yourself freely, you end up becoming John Carpenter, and then you end up changing the world and changing the lives of people like me. I am, I am in awe of creativity. I love it. I thrive on it. I, I eat it. I wake up in the morning hungry, show up early, ask questions, don't stand on ceremony, don't s pretend you know something, raise your hand, say, I don't know what that means. And then someone will tell you, and then you know it. Don't lords over somebody else that knowledge. Give it to them freely. Knowledge is not something to be held on to and protected and calcified. It's to be given freely to all of us to share, to make art together. And I'm going to leave you with this. And either this woman loves me or this woman hates me. There is a book. This is my life lesson to you. I am about to drop my pearl of wisdom to you graduates, you beautiful, young, brilliant artists. There is a book called Special Topics in Calamity Physics. It's a novel. It's a mystery novel about a father and a daughter. And in the middle of this mystery novel book about a father and a daughter, the writer talks, her name is Marisha Pessel, a woman. A woman. She talks about how life happens for us, where you go to school, wh who you marry, what your starting salary is, you know, all of the things we think is going to determine the outcome of our lives. And then she says it isn't. And I quote, she says, life hinges on a couple seconds you never see coming. And what you do in those seconds determines everything from then on. And you're not going to know what you're going to do until that second. That's my pearl for all of you. I wouldn't be standing here if my life hadn't hinged on a couple seconds I never saw coming, including my family, my husband. It's how I met my husband. It's how I have my beautiful family, my daughter, my other, my younger daughter, my friends. The art I get to make, all of it, wouldn't have happened if I had planned it. It happened because it happened, and I was open and ready, and when the opportunity came, and when they called me and said, hey, you've been offered a part on The Bear, I had seen the first episode of the first season, and when Carmen is in the alley with Sugar, and he, she says, have you called Mom? And he says, no. I alone in my house in Idaho said, oh, I'm going to play her. <laughs> That's how this works. Stay open, stay free, stay engaged, stay absolutely enthusiastic. Don't get lazy. Don't think you deserve something more than you're going to get. Fight for it. Work for it. Save the universe, please. God bless you all. Thank you. Well said, honey. Well said.